Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk to you guys about how to export and import timelines from one DaVinci Resolve 16 project into another one so that you can basically have all the same work in one project be imported into another. So the basic idea of how you do a timeline export is that you go up to the file menu and you're going to be working with export AAF, comma, XML, dot, dot, dot. And in the other project, you're going to be doing import timeline and then import AAF, EDL, XML, dot, dot, dot. Those are the formats that you can export a timeline to. So when we click export the AAF XML, it's going to give us this export timeline dialog window. And we're going to want to choose a save type here at the bottom. So there's quite a few different save types you can export your timeline to. Uh, the one that I got the best results in is dot XML, not uh, Final Cut Pro XML which is these 1.3 to 1.8 version ones down here, but the just blank XML. Because when you choose the Final Cut Pro XML formats and you're importing into a DaVinci Resolve project, it will unnecessarily change some of your video transitions that might not exist in Final Cut Pro into another default transition. Um, so when we're exporting to a DaVinci Resolve project, I find that for that reason, XML is better. With AAF format, I found that it wasn't really including the video transitions as well. And with EDL, for some reason, it would only import the uh, video track one in the timeline, ignoring video tracks two through five and so on. So uh, just flat XML, I found, was the best format for me. Uh, I'm going to change the name of this to tutorial.xml, and I'll just save that on the desktop. So it'll take a second here to go ahead and actually export that file. So one issue that we might run into is that we'll find that when we import the timeline to a new project, it doesn't include the Fusion title in that new imported timeline. So a workaround for that is that we can export a Fusion composition or a Fusion title, one and the same, to a Fusion composition settings file and then import that into our new project. So with this Fusion title selected, I'm going to go over to the Fusion tab. That's the middle one at the bottom. And I'm going to select all of these nodes. This is actually one group, so I can easily select that just by selecting these two nodes, and then that includes everything inside of the group. So we want to select these and then right click on one of the nodes and do settings and then save as. So we save this to a file on the desktop. So we can say this tutorial fusion import dot setting or whatever we want to call it. Hit save. And now this file can be brought into a new Fusion composition in any other project we want to use it in. So now that we have the timeline exported and the Fusion composition title exported, I'm going to go over to a new project. So I will just hit new project here. Uh, I guess I won't bother to save that other one because I don't want to make any changes. Okay, so now we're in a brand new project with brand new timeline and we want to import that .xml file. So I'm going up to file and then import timeline, import AAF EDL XML dot dot dot. I can select one of those files from anywhere on my computer where I may happen to have it stored. So I'm going to select this tutorial XML file and hit open. Now when you import a timeline into a new project, it'll give you this window where you can set some of the settings as you want them to import into your new project. So for instance, if you want to rename the uh, timeline, you can do that. So I'll just call it import edit. At the bottom here, it might make sense to change the mixed rate format from Final Cut Pro to Resolve if all you're using is Resolve. And you can also change the timeline resolution if you want to do that. But when you're ready, you can go ahead and hit OK here. So if in the original timeline you had a Fusion title, it's probably going to say that the clip was not found. So I'm simply going to hit No here because we already know that and we're importing that title using a Fusion composition. So if everything else goes well, you shouldn't see any dramatic errors here. Uh, this is just referring to the Fusion title that couldn't, em that couldn't export with the timeline. So I'm going to hit close here and we can see that the timeline has the clips all of the video tracks uh, the transitions that we had in the original project pretty much everything else going to the end of that video as long as we still have the original source clips of course so now we need to recreate this fusion title really quickly by importing the settings file so to do that we can go up to the effects library and do toolbox effects fusion composition so I'm going to drop that into the timeline conveniently on the original title I had the default five second duration. So I don't need to play around with that at all. I simply need to click on the Fusion composition now, go over to the Fusion tab. Now I need to drag and drop that settings file into this nodes area. 
So let me find it on my desktop here. It's tutorial fusion import. So I'm going to drop that in. And as we can see, we have an extra media out now. So I'm just going to delete the one we don't need. And this title should have all of the same settings, including the text that we put on the title. And now if we click on this group over here, we should be able to see that the settings that we had set in the old timeline for that title have imported successfully into this project. So if we go over to the edit tab now, we can see that that title is there and the same way it was before. So I'm simply going to drag this over the missing clip indicator and just have that completely replace the original reference with this new fusion composition in our project. So if I hit play, we can see that the title and the transitions work perfectly exactly how we had them in the original timeline. So I've been Chris. I hope that this tutorial on how to export and import your timelines into other projects, including with the fusion titles has been helpful for you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future video content.